All right, so now we've looked at studio recording for Windows. So let's take a look at studio recording for Mac. And we're going to go to our trusty uh, QuickTime player to create a new webcam capture. And so to easily do that, all you have to do is go to the top and hit New Movie Recording. Um, and it will automatically open up this window and it will automatically open up the camera uh, to go ahead and start the recording. You'll also notice that my mic down there is bumping up and down. You can see it right there. And so if you hit this arrow right here, you can see if you do have multiple webcams, you can actually select between one or the other. Uh, you also can select your microphone. And mine is a blue snowball. So I'm going to leave that checked. And then you, down here at the bottom, you can go with quality. You can go with medium, high, or maximum. In my experience, uh, high has been just fine. I haven't had too many issues uh, recording with high. It records an HD video. Uh, maximum is completely lossless, so it's not really required. I don't think the camera is even that good enough to require lossless uh, video. So now that all these settings are checked, iMovie is as simple as hitting the big red record button right here and recording away. And you'll notice that the time will tick up on the left side and then the size will tick up on the right side. So you can see even under 15 seconds, this is already about 20 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and do a recording real fast using the same method that I used on the Windows side. So here we go. Three, two. Hello and welcome. And what I want to do for you today is I want to show you and teach you how to use video effectively. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the basics and I'm going to uh, teach you how to do it quickly, easily, and simply. So let's dig in. All right, so you'll notice that I used the same theory and the same method that I did on the Windows side. I did the countdown, I did the three, two, and then silence. And then at the end, I also looked at the camera uh, for you know just a, another couple of seconds. If you uh, start talking or you do you hit the stop button too early, you'll notice very quickly uh, in post edit uh, how much of a pain that really is. So that's why I do it that way. So now as far as video, I mean we're we're good to go. I, QuickTime has already packaged it. Um, it and with Mountain Lion and Lion, it automatically has saved it into the default location. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up here and rename it. And so you can either close this out and it will bring up the save dialog box or you can export it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and export it and the sh shortcut for that is shift command S. It's going to bring up this window here and I'm just going to do studio video test. And you'll notice down here you get a format, it's movie, and that's uh, the largest possible size um, with the highest quality settings, both audio and video. Uh, so just go ahead and leave that, hit export here. It's going to go ahead and export our video, and now we're done. You are ready to import this into iMovie, or uh, you can import it into ScreenFlow, or you can just go ahead and publish it to YouTube um, as it is. You can also go up here and hit the check, and it will do the same thing. It'll save it in the same format, everything else. Um, me, I always like to uh, have a test and then have a backup. So I'll do uh, original here and it'll go ahead and save it. It'll do the same thing. I just like to have uh, double copy um, just because I'm weird like that. I, I know how much of a pain it is uh, to have to replace something. So you'll notice that uh, for the amount of time, you know, the, the uh, limited amount of time, it is uh, almost 75 megabytes. So, you know, it's, it's quite large. Um, it does record in the highest possible size. And so now we're ready to do our recording. So I'm going to hit the record button there. You'll, which you'll notice I have a 1080p monitor again. Uh, so you'll notice that that's very large. It's going to be much larger than most video that you embed onto a screen. Let's see how big this is going to be. Yeah, this is going to be 720 by 1280. So it's going to be much larger than we're probably going to use. Um, but it is nice to have that large video so that we can edit it down later on. So that is how you do a studio recording on the Mac. And so later on, we'll talk about uh, mobile uh, recording, how to do this on a phone, all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, guys.